because I'm saying that I said I was vegan, right? So that means I don't eat any meat or dairy, right? Yeah. But the problem though is that when, when anyone eats any kind of meat, right? The meat is actually decaying. Yeah. So what you're doing is you're taking your body a dead, decaying substance and you're making your body work to get the living out of it. The, the, what makes the pork the worst, because a lot of gods eat other meat and everything. They're not like me, I go extreme. But we get rid of the pork because the pork is the worst kind of animal. The things that are in it, the, the worms, the trichinosis, the, 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 the viruses, the germs, they cannot be cooked out of them. Unless you what? Unless you burn it. I don't think you want it like that crisp of meat. You know what I mean? So what happens is though is that out of all the meats though, you have actually living viruses and germs that are easily transferable that go straight into your body. These things accumulate. They make you all slower. Right. They give you one of the common symptoms of, of eating pork is brain fog. People call it brain fog. You know what I mean? And that, that can happen to people that are allergic to things like they have gluten allergy or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But with pork, you can't it just just because. So, yeah, you know, right. when you're not sharp like that, you would never know that you could be sharper if you always ate that. You'd have to try and say, let me stop eating this for a while, replace it with different meats, yeah. or just not eat the meats, eat different things, and then you would see a difference. True. But nobody would know the difference, you know what I mean? And then, and then, out of all the meats, it has an extremely high fat content. I understand that. Was you know what I mean? Yeah. The fat content is extremely high. So when you see athletes and stuff, right? Like they're bodybuilders, they'll eat pork and everything, and they eat all this stuff and be really lean. That's only because they, it's not what they're eating, it's how they're portion sizing so precisely and so meticulously. You know, like this much now, 12 times a day. See, but for the average person, mm -hmm. but for the average person, they just eat like a handful, a good handful of meals. That pork is gonna add on to you and it's gonna decay you. Yeah. Fast forward a couple of years in the bodybuilders, and you see the decay in the body because that meat is added up. It amounts of meat. You know, we love the way the rock looks now. Let's see how he looks so in 10 years versus other vegan bodybuilders that see you know, other bodybuilders yeah. that don't eat the swine Long or don't overeat those things, you know? Different. But if you're gonna get rid of the wrong foods that go straight into the arteries, that Melbourne, lead into that. Regular what do you think about that? Well, I don't eat dairy, so first off, I'm allergic to dairy. The second thing is that the cow has a fat content that's not suitable. Mm. It's not suitable for for adults. Yeah. So what happens is that that amount of fat isn't really transferable in the body. Like it doesn't really it, it doesn't really get digested right. Mm. And at least that heavy fat deposits in the body. You know what I mean? If Mega did this.